And hello, hello. Let me adjust my camera. I had it at a different angle yesterday for happy houring. Welcome to another Saturday of Pepper Plays. I'm Pepper, and with me is my my amazing uh, husband, Diva. Say hi, Diva. Hello. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start off our stream by watching this promo for Diablo 2 Resurrected which I'm kind of excited about. I don't know why, but I am. So let's watch it and then we can talk about it. Oh, some content may not be suitable for children. Did it really absolutely defined a generation and a genre? That's what I meant to say. I was going to say, yeah. All oh, that fight. Nice. I think that looks amazing. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Because you played this game from its inception, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I when did I start playing? Early 2000s? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, early 2000s I started playing Diablo 2. So, when did it co originally come out? Uh, 2001? Hey, Q-Dog. <clears throat> Hi, Q-Dog. Yeah, yeah, so that's about when I started playing it, too. So, it absolutely, it just defined... A genre of games. Well, the original Diablo really did. Well, sure, the original, but, but this one just Diablo took Diablo it... Two was a lot more mainstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to forget about Diablo, the original, which is a really hard game. Two thousand came on two thousand. Two thousand, yeah. So I probably started playing in a one hundred two. But yeah, the original Diablo, super hard game. Is so unforgiving. Unforgiving. But this looks fun. I'm I'm excited about this this remaster and the cross platform progression. So does that mean that there are things that you can do in the PC game that you can't do in the console game and vice versa? No, so oh. it's the exact same game. Oh, okay. So much so that you can do stuff in one and it transfers over. Oh, which is way better. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot more inclusive, which is great. Well, because that, that's way better because Diablo 3's console game is not, right? Correct. Because like they are two different games. Yeah, because we have both. We have the console game and obviously we have the PC game. So they are yeah. two different games. I haven't played on console in a long time, though. Console, sorry. So that was exciting. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm always excited. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that your superpower? <laughs> yep. How do I get back? Oh, like that. Magical being these days. Take forever to load. Look at all my friends. Dog, 
I love you, but you don't need anything. You've had all the things. You even had a dentabone this morning. Anyway, so review, we're starting season 23 of Diablo. Um, three, four, three. <laughs> Pick a number. <laughs> Diablo three, Reaper of Souls. I have created a Crusader, which I haven't played in a while. Diva has created... Oh, you're doing the challenge rift. Not what I wanted, so I have to leave this party. Sorry. I think I have to exit out and come back. Sorry. It's, it's playing. No, it's well, it's playing my audio through my speakers, which is. A... Oh, that's weird. I left the party, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, so just like last week, we start off by doing the challenge rift. I have a super needy dog right now, apparently, who thinks she needs something from me. To be fair, they usually get some kind of B-O-N-E to chew upon while we stream. Because, I don't care what people tell you, having a dog is like having a small toddler. Not exactly the same. Not trying to take glory away from being parenting parents. But they are needy, and they want stuff, and they beg, and they interrupt you, and all kinds of things. <laughs> My dogs are, our dogs are smarter than your average dog as well. Mostly because they both have herding breeds in them, which we've probably talked about before. But you can't see this right now. But behind me, Isabel, our cattle dog, was barring zero from annoying me. <laughs> she had to pause that to go for a drink. She was thirsty. Anyway, so... Here is this week's challenge rift. It's a monk build. Oh, it's just a straight up. Um, oh, they don't even. Yeah, it's a. Uh, what is that gem? Legacy. It's a legacy build. Like a legacy of nightmares. Yeah. Using a of wave of light. And. I don't. I have no idea what this build is. Tempest rush. <laughs> So they but they're not using, Tempest. I know, they're not they're using not, Tempest Rush. They're not using Tempest Rush. They're not using <laughs> Exploding Palm. Although Seven-Sided Strike applies Exploding Palm. Uh, that's at that. What is it? Items become indestructible. Seven-Sided Strike. But we're not using Seven-Sided Strike, are we? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah, so our abilities are Wave of Light, Way of the Hundred Fists, Mystic yeah. Ally, Seven-Sided Strike, Dashing Strike, and Sweeping Winds. Yeah. Mystic ally summons two mystic allies that fight by your side. Are we using uh, lightning skills? Nope. No. Sweeping wind. It has lightning. Holy damage, holy damage, cold, mystic ally. Weird. Holy. That's a holy damage. Well, they're using yes. the one weapon that gives you extra stacks, increases the maximum stack of Sweeping Wind, which is increases the yeah, damage. Yeah, so there's a lot of Sweeping Wind going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have the Bracers, Exploding Palms, um, on Death Explosion applies Exploding Palms, so it's a double whammy. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like you just run around and punch stuff, though. Oh, is that what you're doing? Just running around and punching stuff? Yeah. You're weird. Like, oh, I have to but test it out. Fast, though. Well, I already tested it out. Oh, right. Oh, that's fun. What did I... Oh, I just seven-sided strike. I was like, what did I do? Dashing strike, right? Yeah. Well, that's your movement. Do you really just run around punching things? Well, so the kicker in this build is the... Um, is the... The fact that your all of your damage reduction is from um, sweeping winds. No, nope. sweeping winds gives you zero damage reduction. Is from your chest piece. Oh, the Aquila, whatever, whatever. Curious. The Aquila Curus. Curus. Well above ninety four percent resource, all damage taken is reduced. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice effect, though. It is, but it means that you cannot spend your resource. Mm. And the resource spender is the wave of light. 
and seven sided strike. Yeah, yeah. So you really want to just. Um, but seven sided strike is on a pretty long cooldown, so it's that's not really a big deal. But this requires you to move fast because like I'm. Well, and your Mystic Ally has a thirty second cooldown, but it doesn't cost any. Um, spirit. No. How are you doing? Uh, okay, but it's it's a fast one. Like you gotta move. Oh, good. My least favorite. And there are so many dead ends. What you ask is impossible. These enemies defy all reason. My strength fails. I must heal. So it's sort of make sure you put up your. Um, I like to think the world uh, safe, sweeping winds, and it, it sort of keeps up on itself. So, right. It cannot be done. I usually use seven sided strike when you meet any of the elite packs. Okay. That seems to work out pretty well. Otherwise, I'm just just clicking on through. What the f with these dead ends? I will not yeah. do that. F A lot of dead ends. <laughs> I weak. I'm ahead enough now that I feel comfortable, but that was. I felt really behind for a long time. I haven't played a monk in a while. Ooh, channeling. Perfect! Yeah, I would use the channeling to sort of scoot along. No, it's not a. I mean, it's densely populated, but not a lot of things you need to kill for to advance. Yeah, not a lot of elites. Man, that seven-sided strike just does them right in. Be done. Oh, farts. Yes, it can. I must be out of my channeling pylon. Just channeled right past the door. <laughs> I will not do that. You will do what I tell you, kind sir. That wasn't bad. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, better than last week. Yeah. Oh, dead end. Farts. Poison. Poison. Oh, well, I'll uh -uh, just seven side strike you. Oh, you're immune. What? I disagree. Immune schmoon. What you ask is impossible. It's never impossible. Your strength fails. I grow weak. Oh, so much poison. Run away. Also, don't feel like you have to kill everything. No, I'm not. It's a lot of just like Crap. punching random packs and then scooting along. What are you? I'm done. No, I was talking about this. Oh, I, oh, I got a speed pylon. Nice. Yeah, the speed pylon was pretty great. So much friggin' poison. Oh, oh exploding everything. Everything is exploding. It cannot be done. You will do what I ask you to. Feel the wrath of oh, so much poison. And a dead end, of course. What you ask is yeah, the exit's up north. <laughs> Farts. So far, I think you've done exactly what I've done. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Run into all those stupid dead ends. That speed pylon is great. Yeah, it was perfectly timed. For once, right? Yeah. It cannot be done. Ooh. Blow you right up. Oh, my nose is runny. Stupid changing weather. Allergies. Well, because it was super hot. 
right? for a couple days, and now it's like in the 40s. <laughs> Seven-sided strike is not. I will just use that. Okay, I will. I don't know what just happened there, but um, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, excuse me. Bye. Bye. Yeah, it's, this is a weird build that I didn't quite. I don't mind it. Out. It wasn't terrible. How'd I do? Yeah. You're ridiculous. Like, I think I do so awesome, and then you're like, you are beaten. Whatever. Well, I'm also way better at those fast builds, though. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of click and go. Well, and you also have been gaming a little longer than me, too. <laughs> Even though I am older than you. It's true. For those viewers who don't know, Steve and I are seven years apart depending on the time of year. <laughs> right now we're seven years apart in age. When his birthday happens in November, we'll be six years apart until my birthday the following April. Correct. When everything starts over again. Okay, so I thought you would, that's why I was confused because I thought you would started a witch doctor because <laughs> typically when we play together we like to have um complementary characters we don't always do that but nine times out of ten that that's what we choose to do so we were doing um arts what were we doing each of the acts bounties yeah so far we've gotten through Should we do Act three? We've done act one, two, and three. So act four. Then we can circle back if we need to. Yep. Right? Okay. Yep. You want to go to the besieged tower level one? Don't forget to grab your thing for oh, my completing. Cash. Where's the stupid bastion's keep? Farts. Did he farts? All the farts. before you get too antsy to run off and do whatever. Oh, I have to spend blood shards. I haven't even looked at what armor. What armor does Such a brave soul. she get? Uh, What are you playing? Crusader. If you open up the, the chapter thing, it shows you in the top right. See you soon. Well, Someday, perhaps, when I'm rich. Excuse me, I got a lot of blood shards out of that. And and a vigilante belt, apparently. Yeah, you get four hundred and fifty. Oh, I think. the um oh Roland's legacy. Eh. <laughs> Not my I favorite. Like I think it's fun. Well, I was hoping it was my favorite build. Which is the Thorns build. Thorns build is pretty fun. I have um a new mug rotation. It's my my tea mug. It says tea, just in case. Anyone was wondering what I drink. It, it's tea all the time. <laughs> and no, it doesn't mean I'm expecting a child. Never, ever going to forget that. Ever. Ever, ever. So I'm sure we've talked about it before. I think actually one episode we talked about it, but... The sound didn't, the audio didn't record, right? Yeah. Like the game audio recorded, but us talking didn't record. So we didn't post that video where I talked about how a coworker whom I don't talk to anyway, um, we were in the same aisle picking random things that you do when you work in a warehouse and, and and she, she noticed that I'd been drinking a lot of tea. Well, because we recently got a tea kettle in the break room that I I helped make sure we got because I thought it was stupid we didn't have one. Because I don't like using coffee makers to make hot water because then you're fucking, excuse me, 
because then your tea tastes like coffee. And if you don't like coffee, it's disgusting. Even if you do like coffee, why would you want your tea to taste like coffee? Gross. Yuck. Anyway, so, so she had seen that I had started drinking a lot of tea and she made the horrendous assumption that it was a result that I was drinking tea as opposed to coffee like apparently regular people do. I don't know. You don't drink coffee. Do you? No. Talking to you. Me? Yeah, no, you don't drink no, coffee. No, you've never seen me drink coffee in my life. No. What kind of question is that? <laughs> no. He's not a coffee drinker. <laughs> And so she made this horrendous assumption that because I was drinking tea, that I was expecting that I was pregnant. Like, what? The what? What on God's green earth would make you leap to that horrendous assumption? And I kind of let it go and laughed it off because it's awkward. Are you coming to the besieged tower? I'm following you... And then Diva's like, um, you should absolutely say something to her. Yeah, because you don't raise awareness by staying quiet. No. And he's right, you don't. And, like, so for those of you who don't know, like, yeah, murder you, save knock the infector. Maybe I should use my skills properly. There we go. Layer them together. Because <laughs> Diva and I struggled with infertility. We were unable to conceive children. And we are, statistically speaking, one in eight couples will struggle to achieve pregnancy. One in eight. So that's a lot of people if you don't if you don't know. <laughs> And we are, we are that. We just, I have endometriosis and it is a disease that women are born with. And so this disease is awful <laughs> and per pervasive. And since I've had it, since I've been able to reproduce, it's done plenty of damage to my reproductive organs, which consequently make it so I can't have kids. <laughs> And she just opened like that can of worm and I went up to her and I was like, so one thing you never, never, ever, never, 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 ever, never, ever, never, ever ask a woman if she's pregnant. Like never, ever. I don't care if she is nine months and looks like a bloated whale. You never ask her if she's pregnant ever because just, it's just not something it's none of your business. Like... <laughs> These are just things you don't ask women. Film at 11. Except we're talking about it right now. So. And she did. And I was like, you just don't do that. Because you're, you're. It's like twofold. A, you're either telling her she's fat. Which is super awesome. BTW. Uh, I don't know if that's ever happened to anybody else. But it's super amazing. There's a gilded baron down here. Oh, nice. Or you're opening a can of worms that you have no business dealing with. Or would you want to? And then, of course, it was super awkward, and she felt super awkward and started crying about it. And I'm like, like, nope. <laughs> you don't get a free pass because there's one thing left alive. Oh. I thought we were done. Nope. Want one enemy. Oh, it's because I leveled up. <laughs> oh. That's, that's what it was. Oh. I would bet it's up here somewhere. And I felt curious. way better after. <laughs> I was like, you, you don't get to do this. Like, here's why. Because I can't have kids. So, joke's on you, sister. I can't ever have children. <laughs> And then, of course, once people know that, then well, why don't you just adopt? Yes. Why don't we just adopt, Diva? We can just go down to the 
Kids are us and pick out our own child. Right. Right off the shelf. It's like going down to Cleveland, Georgia to the Cabbage they've Patch. Got, <laughs> they've got all the latest models. Right. Well, what about foster to adopt? Well, Ugh, what an awful process. It is. Well, because the foster care system in any state is designed to keep families together. It is not designed to create new families. That is not the purpose. And if you are up for that, you know, bully for you. In yeah, a good way. Of people who like are like there are people that do that regular basis. Nothing wrong with it. That's awesome. But it's not not something we want. We are to. not that people. We are not those people. And adopting is more expensive than going through IVF, which we had already decided not to do because it's super expensive. And I'm glad I didn't because who knows how bad those hormones would have affected my hormone-fed disease. <laughs> Like how much worse it would have made my endometriosis. So. Is there a chest at the end of this? I thought there might be. So. So here is a lesson from the internet today. Never ask a woman if she's expecting. Um, Gardens of Hope tier two. Yep. So, you're welcome. <laughs> if you ever thought that it was okay to do that, it is not. Because infertility trauma is real. <laughs> well, and infertility aside, like, whoa, why? Why like, would you even ask somebody that? Right? I don't get it. It's just an inappropriate question. And I don't know you, like, we're not friends. I don't care to share anything, but I'm gonna school you. Absolutely. I think that was probably the most confusing part. It's like, you, like you, you've been working here for, I don't know, a month. We barely talk. Like, I, I don't even remember your name half the time. Why would you ask me if I'm what? pregnant? Right? Like, what's the matter with you? <laughs> It just, I mean, like, I didn't really necessarily, well, indifference, right? What is your saying about being liked? Like, don't, don't confuse my indifference for... Don't confuse indifference for dislike. Yeah, I'm indifferent. But now... A lot of people, lot of people complain about apathy, and it's like, look, I'm apathetic, because there's, like, I don't, people are not my thing. No. <laughs> I mean, I... I like most people. If you want everyone to like you, bully. But like, that's not. I don't. I don't do that. No, not every, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. Why should I be? And that—that that was. I guess. I think that's definitely something. What are we trying to kill? Oh, we have to kill more enemies. Yeah, it was 14 more doodads. I had a girl in college who was obsessed with the fact that like we weren't best friends, and I never understood that. And it's like, we don't have to be friends. We have nothing in common. Like, why would we be friends? Why can we not just have a professional relationship and call it No, good? we have to be besties. Like, no. It was like three years that she bothered me about it. It was like, mm -hmm, not going to happen. <laughs> I don't care. Well, the boss is Diablo, so let's go do the other quest before we try and kill him. The boss is not Diablo. Mm-hmm. It is in the Silver Spire level 2, but it is not Diablo. I just... Oh, it is not? What? Nope. It's a cursed chest. Oh. Because you... Oh. Oh. Well, that's weird. There's usually a boss in each. Act 4, for whatever reason, is the only act that doesn't always have a boss. Hmm. I've never quite figured out why. What's this one? The bone shaman? Oh, we gotta touch the... Touch the chest. Oh. My eyes are... Trying to... Adjust, because I got contacts again. Gross. I know. Jason... Uh, Diva doesn't like contacts. Not yet. Did we... Crank up the difficulty? I did. I turned it up to expert. Oh, okay. I was like, why do I... 
Oh, shaman. Right. <laughs> why are things reviving? Well, well, Pepper. This is why things are reviving. Stops the crusade. Just because we were killing stuff so fast, it was like, why not? Right. Turn it up a bit. Pump up the jam, as it were. Who are you? <laughs> Who let you in here? Okay. Silver Spire. Yeah, it's in the same area, but it's not actually Diablo. Mm. Only mildly confusing. Are there two packs here, or are these minions of that? They're just minions. Oh. And your haunt just does so much damage. It does so much damage. Oh, passive slot. Oh, what you, how are you 30? I'm like not even halfway to 30. What do you have that's giving you so much experience? Uh, I may have a ruby in my hat. Oh. Do you have a ruby in your hat? Do I? Yeah. Do you still have your three pieces of canes? Yeah. I must have just had an like a weapon or something that had plus experience on kill. Whatever. Oh, frozen. Run away! I am not with you at the moment. Oh, fart. You couldn't just, like, throw me off over into the healing whatever? <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Oh no! I'm running into more things. Help! I found these things. I see this. <laughs> I found all the things, apparently. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> great. You're welcome. Demon Slayer. Hi, go. sweet dog. There's Frozen. Level 30. Hi, sweet dog. Oh, there's still another. <laughs> I Didn't told you, there were like three of them there. Jeez. Hi, sweet dog. I just picked up a bow. I don't know why. <laughs> For the mats. You are okay. Yes. Do you want to come here? Oh, come here. Do you want this toy? What's this? <laughs> this. Squeak. What are you looking at me for? Well, I'm shocked it. that nobody likes that toy. Right? I was hoping Isabel would like it, and she's like, nope. I want the Zero, one that doesn't make your, any fun noises. Get your Dragon Ball. Zero, get your Dragon. Get your Dragon. Zero, Dragon. Get the Dragon. Yeah! Oh, bring it here. Why aren't you the fetcher? What does one say to an ancient You're Border Collie, right? She is. You start with hello. Oh. Oh, I have a new passive slot. Yay! Oh. Indestructible when you receive fatal damage. Oh. Oh, good catch. <laughs> we got zero. She has her dragon. Wrathful. Each point of wrath spent heals you for 25 life. Divine Fortress. Your armor is increased by a percentage equal to your shield's block chance. Did you go back to town? Yeah. Oh. Aren't we done? No. We did not make it to the cursed chest yet. Oh, I was. Well, let me do my passive skill. You did yours. Yes, I did. What do I want? Insurmountable. Blocking an attack generates wrath. Increase the attack speed of punish slash smite and justice. Smite. Uh, we'll increase my attack speed for now. 
Oh, we didn't cleanse the cursed chest. Correct. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, okay. We're just kind of clearing the area before we cleanse the curse chest, right? Yeah. Man, your haunt just does so much damage. It's so good. That was my probably my favorite rework that they did was when they... Because haunt used to do something like 400% damage or 500% damage. Uh -huh. And then they reworked it to do 4,000% damage. What? Shadow demons. Are we clear? How, how far are you going there? <laughs> I just like to, you know, have a good... Okay, well, we're not going to make it because they're not generating enough enemies to kill fast enough. It'll, it'll all depend on the last, like... Wave. ...couple seconds, yeah. Oh, I leveled up again. Heck yeah. We made it. We did? Yep. Because your haunt is just murdering everything. And it sticks around for so long. Good like, job. There's the talent that makes haunt stick around forever, and I just don't know why you would use it outside of the... Oh, apparently I have to set. go to town. To town! Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, those are better shoulders. I'll put you on. Better. Oh, no, I don't want to. Oh, well, I all Does that make me? No, I still have it, so I can do that. I'm talking to myself here, nobody cares. Your deeds should be rewarded. Deeds should be rewarded. You have finished all the bounties here. Thank you, Tyrion. Await you in other lands. This is gonna drop this on the ground for you, I think. So don't forget to pick it up. What am I picking up? Pick it up. Pick it up. The cash. Oh, right on. Yeah. I just have to disenchant stuff. Make room so I can pick it up. Perfect. We got a chapter. <sighs> well, we can't complete chapter one because we are not level fifty yet. Oh, I but need those. That pants. was. I'm pretty sure that's part of chapter two or chapter three. Those pants. That's chapter three. Is doing all the bounties. Can I make them more, more bigger? <laughs> Boy, that's some proper grammar right there. Am I speaking English? More bigger. Most smartest. <laughs> Look at him, most I smartest. I am so smart. S M R T. Oh, I can't make a bigger ruby. Seasonal socketing. Woo! Seasonal socketing. Except now my helmet looks ridiculous. Let's go look at it. Oh, I don't want to trans. I don't want to do that. There we go. Yeah, I don't care for this helmet at all. It's creepy looking. What's my go-to helmet this season? I want a big <laughs> mohawky one. Oh, that's not good. No. No. 
Isn't there one with a big, like, frou-frou thing on the top? Oh, I haven't unlocked it yet. That's weird. Oh, well, that's... Oh, no, that's, like, little horns. Sometimes I like big, ridiculous helmets. Sometimes I feel like a... Sometimes I don't. Almond Joy's got nuts. Mounds don't. Doesn't go with this. Farts. Oh, that helmet is super ridiculous. Oh, but I like the feathers. Done. Spent a lot of money to change that helmet that I'll probably have to <laughs> change anyway. <laughs> when I get a new helmet. <laughs> Because I like the way it looks from the side. Is that weird? Am I weird? A little bit. What? Did you just say I am weird? A little bit. Disagree. I mean, I am. So I guess I should. Oh, that's pretty. That's dope. What's wrong with my pants? Oh, I have that, like, weird. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. Done. I look super cool. End of story. Don't I look cool? You always look cool. Ah, whatever. A little, like, samurai outfit. I'm digging it. This looks really snazzy. Yes, I just said snazzy. Judge somebody else who cares. Okay. Act five? Yeah? Yep. What are you dinking around on your phone? I was waiting for you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you want to start on the right side and move left? Like, yeah, uh, the cemetery. Barn Thornton Cemetery. Yeah. <sighs> I like the cemetery. Find the portal to Leoric's hunting grounds. Well, I got good news for you. We're going to spend half a second in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, why why are we going to the hunting grounds? That's dumb. Oh, cursed shrines, okay. Like shot before the wind. Oh right, we have to, I was distracted by the actual point. Oh, I got froze. Parts. Oh, you move way faster. No, I just went straight for the objectives. No, I didn't make them. Oh. Something's still alive over here. Oh, sure. I can't, I can't shoot over the wall. I have to shoot into the wall. Give me a break. <laughs> that wall isn't that tall. I'd be taller than it. Yeah, you tell him. Ah, oh, whatever game what would that be called like game what like is there a term for that mechanics for not being able to shoot over a wall when it's shorter than the character uh yeah that'd be a mechanics thing what are we doing here plague tunnels Plague tunnel. Oh, they're probably on the opposite side of the two. dumb board. Yeah. So not only do we have to find the plague tunnels, we then have to find the. You go one way, I'll go another way. We have to fight all this stuff. Oh, and level. That's the. I hate those. Kill everything in level two after it takes you twenty minutes to get to level to the thing to get, and then you have to get to level two to boot. I got Is an arrow. Though. I don't know. <laughs> Zero is I got a resplendent chest here. Sniffing my leg. I am fighting the Bell Witch. Catherine Bates? That's fantastic. Ah, oh, stupid arcane. That is the name of this enemy, FYI. Catherine Bates, the Bell Witch. I love it. Where's your resplendent chest? It was around the corner here to the left. Did I go too far? Nope, not far enough. Hey. 
you'll notice it because there'll be a bunch of crap on the ground. A mail being delivered? What's going on out there? Maybe. I don't know. I didn't see him. Okay. It's not this way. Nope, that's not the way. I can't wait till that elbow sleeve shows up. My elbow is so mad. This is also a dead end. <laughs> I'm gonna go up the steps, honey. There's nothing up there. I think it goes. I think it loops around. Does it loop around here? Oh, it loops around Marsha here. Fokker. Ugh. Is that a dead end up there? Yes. Fork this. Just teleport to me if you don't want well, to. Well, I down. would if this thing wasn't shooting arrows at me. <sighs> so look at all that map <laughs> that we've already traversed. <laughs> Yeah, falling sword. Such a fun ability. Blessings of the light. Blessings of the light. I often like to repeat or comment on things that my characters say. What? Never. I don't know why I do it. I can't help myself. Well, see, it's a lot of yelling at them for not letting you do things that they it's can't true. do. <laughs> true well this is not it either fork a fork bards oh that's better should probably water those flowers out front again hmm you don't want to dig them up and take them with us? Shut up! I'm not taking them with us. But I should actually let them know I did plant something there. Is it? Okay, let's look at the map that we traversed to find where we actually need to go. And even in here, we have to go to level two. Yep. And then kill everything. Hmm. A falling sword, some of your haunt. So I am very excited, though, to be wearing contacts. I just have to get used to wearing them again. But we did go to the eye doctor this week and had the fun experience of having our eyes dilated, which is the dumbest thing ever. Ugh. When you have the technology in front of you to do retinal imaging, which is better for the patient, why wouldn't you increase patient care and offer retinal imaging? Because old school, what are they, ophthalmologists? Is that right? Optometrist? Optometrist? What's an ophthalmologist? Ophthalmologist. Uh, it's the... You're, it's half right. Yeah, don't they do um, surgery? Yeah, it's treatments of uh, disorders and diseases of the eye. So that's an optimal optometrist is just your basic eye doctor, right? They can be both. Yeah. But they're not always. And I'm pretty sure our 
optometrist is also an ophthalmologist because he does. Because optometry uh, involves examining the eye yeah. as well as prescribing. So one is one is uh, just looking at it, and the other is doing something about it. Yeah. Oh, I leveled up again. What the ever love and age is this crap? Where are you? Looking up what an ophthalmologist is. Oh, well, okay, that's fair. Oh. I will pick you up, whatever you were. Anyway, yeah, so we... Pratt had his eyes dilated on Thursday afternoon. I had mine dilated. Which was exceptionally exciting because I didn't have my sunglasses. We haven't even found level two, FYI. This is level two. This is level two? Yeah, we have one thing left to kill. Well, where is it? Probably over here, hiding in the corner. Yep, I found it. Oh, he just reproduced rats. Well, now there are five things to kill. <laughs> I got him. Everything's dead, yay! Passage to Corvus. Yeah, anyway, so... Mine was fun because I had to drive a little further. And I was fitted for contacts, so I had dilated eyes, contacts, prescription sunglasses, because that's all I had with me, because I didn't, I didn't forward think to bring just regular sunglasses. So, sorry, I'm putting some hand cream on because my hands are dry and mad. But then I had <laughs> Pratt's clip-on sunglasses over my prescription, which was really smart, but with the contacts and the prescription sunglasses not being this it was it was hard to try but i made it home so but they were also supposed to give me a little contact care kit that they never did They're just lucky that last year I thought I could get contacts and my existing prescription was outdated. So 1-800-CONTACTS was like, your prescription is outdated. And I was like, crap. So I bought all the things thinking that I was going to be getting contacts. And then I did it. So I had all the things. There's a splendid chest back here. Oh, did we finish the destroy? Which were, what was our main objective? I have no idea. I was doing some random other thing. Oh, so it's the hatchery. You have to destroy the scarab hatchery. Okay, maybe I should kill the thing that's making all the other things. Probably not a bad idea. I wish I could do that. Heal me. <gasps> Fa -la -la. Did I kill it finally? Thank you. Oh no, you did. Thanks. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm helping. Check your map to make sure there weren't any legendaries back there though. Oh, okay. Diva got himself some new glasses, much needed new glasses. But you said your prescription didn't change a whole lot. No. No, I don't see any on the map. Did you get a legendary? No. Just making sure, because you seem to get them a lot more often than I do. Well, I mean, I, I did get one in the last one, so. Yup. <laughs> you hear the drop? No, you just always comment on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, here's the hatchery.
Okay, you just haunt everything. And I'll cast my spell just as, you know, you kill everything. Thanks. Battlefields. Battlefields of Eternity. Woo! But I didn't know this. So, my eye doctor said that a lot of people with contacts, um, since I have my prescription really is about distance, because I'm nearsighted, right? I can't see far away. Right. And um, so I can just rely on monovision and put a contact in my eye that has m more of a need. So like one eye, my left eye is negative 1.5. And my right eye is 1.50. Sorry. I was like, that didn't make any sense to me. That's my left eye is negative 1.50. And my right eye is negative 1.25. What's yours? My numbers are very different. <laughs> my eyesight is negative 10 and negative 10.75. Ooh, that is very different. I'm also pretty certain that legally blind is negative eight. Oh, really? Yeah. Not blind as you can't see, but as in the legal definition. Yeah, you can't drive. You have to. You cannot drive without glass. And I'm sure, I think my license has a classification like that, but I, I could... I wouldn't want to drive without them, just because... I mean, the only reason you have the classification is if you can't pass the vision test without yeah. help. AKA glasses or contacts. Oh, right, that portion in the... In the driving. I'm pretty sure I can, though, because it doesn't really deal with seeing far away. Yeah, if you, if you can, you can... Get that restriction lifted. I feel like that is... Oh no! Frozen! I just missed it! Yay! I hate these poison burrowing. Is there another pack here or is this the same pack that's poison? There are two... Well, there's an elite. Okay. And then there's this Sartor guy. Good job. You earned Opa. it, a fearless veteran. Good job. Oppa. So, but with contacts, I'm excited to be able to wear regularly, regular sunglasses. <laughs> oh, I leveled again. Where are you going? Creepy crawly thing. Nowhere important. I pick up all the things. Yes. That's where we're supposed to go? Yep. The Claim the treasure. Ruins. Well, he's a little pooper. Oh my goodness. I forgot to tell you about this. You know, I'm watching the, 
House Hunters uh, renovation. Yeah. Oh my God. This episode I watched this morning was so ridiculous. So they, the house they went with um, was going to be a, a dual income house. So they were going to, it was three floors. The way it was had originally been set up by the previous owner was each floor was its own separate apartment. Right. But they were making the main floor, the apartment, and the upper two levels their their house. Okay. And um, this is in Chicago. And so they bought it for like four something, like four seventy. Yeah, four hundred seventy thousand dollars. And in the process of the renovation, which was extensive, like they they had already budgeted two hundred thousand for the renovation. That's how extensive it was. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Right. So they, they gut it, like just gut it to the studs and find galvanized pipe. Mm. <laughs> so they were already going to have to, uh, I think, update the, the heating and cooling. So the HVAC was, was a total gut job. They were going to either install new because it was steam heat and no AC. It might have been something like that because it was an older home. So they already had that, right? That's a huge okay. amount of money. Then yep. they found galvanized pipe. The whole the whole house, all three floors. Um, then to the contractor assessing if it was galvanized pipe everywhere, goes into the basement and finds that the hookup to the city is too small. <laughs> so they have to redig the hookup to the city, right, and add a bigger uh, hookup pipe. So there's that. And that's all pretty crappy, right? Yeah. Then they, um, when they tear it to the studs, they find all kinds of just mucked up stuff, like cutting into uh, two by fours, like leaving like an inch of the two by four and, cut, you know, because you can't do that if it's structural. Like that's not up to code at all. And it was, it was, I was just like, oh my God, I feel like this should be an episode of Homes on Homes. Like, where's Mike Holmes when you need him? Right. <laughs> so, but it gets better. So they had all those structural things that they had to fix. And then in the process of the renovation, they come to find out because they're basically, they gutted it to the studs and they're having to re, essentially reframe the house that the city has decided that it's no longer a renovation and now new construction. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and so then there's, there's that. And then <laughs> because of, um, they find out that the third floor was being supported by the deck. Oh. <laughs> so that was part of the structural reconfiguration. Right. And so, um, because the city decided to classify it as new construction, the permits are only ever for two levels and the existing house was three. Right. So now they have the first two levels renovated and their top level is all studded and framed out, but waiting for approval because oh, the city might not approve the third level, even though it was part of the existing house. Like Yikes. you want to talk about a nightmare. So their their initial <laughs> renovation budget was two hundred thousand. They went over it by like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, like sucks. they borrowed money from both their parents. They drained their savings, and and they're having a kid. <laughs> hmm. Seems like good time to do that well and they like she, she announced it oh we're having a kid and then she talks about well we have four more months of renovation and my due date is in six months so they knew they were having a kid when they started this process yeah yikes i was like nope just no <laughs> no no did we already go to the yeah i'm, I'm in the ruins of corvus where are you uh, I got bored and I'm doing, Sorry. making gems. I had to, I 
had to tell you about that because I was like, it was literally one thing after another. And I was like, oh my, I would just talk about drive you to drink. Nope. <laughs>